Famous author Hans Christian Andersen once said, where words fail, music speaks. And if you talk to Gamecock fans, they'll tell you that this latest women's basketball season has often left them feeling speechless. Tonight, I introduce you to a musician who believes the words in his songs can help any fan find the right phrase for their feelings. This is Gamecock Nation. Track that plays in Jermaine Singletary's head when it Show comes to love his love for Gamecock sports. The song Gamecock Love is his favorite because he wrote it and recorded it in one day for the national champs. So has Coach Staley heard this song dedicated to her and the team? I'm not sure if she's heard it. I've given it to her. <laughs> you know, whether or not she's heard it or not, I'm not sure. But we, we've been trying to get with Don. But, you know, they've been so busy with traveling. It isn't my first Gamecock song. This makes the third song Singletary has written for the Gamecock Nation to tap their toes and nod their heads to. He's an educator and describes himself as a lifelong Gamecock fan who understands the importance of music. Uh, being that I work with kids all the time, it's a way to get through to the kids. So you can always get through through music. Win or lose, this song is for the die-hard fans. Singletary partnered with musician Johnny Glenn for a second song titled Gamecock Fan that has background vocals from Glenn's six-year-old granddaughter, Imani. For the rest of my life, yeah, I'm gonna be a Gamecock fan. You can see the struggle that they went through. And being young ladies, like she said, just coming in as freshmen, sophomores, and you got a whole new team that you have to put together and for them to be able to hold it together and do what they did is just unbelievable. See, this could be related from the young to the old yeah. to always be a Gamecock fan. Whether you're winning or losing, just being a Gamecock fan and showing the same energy, whether you're here or here. And when you look at it, sports is something that brings everybody together. All right, well, if you want to hear both songs, you just have to go to Binding Ties on Facebook.